Good day everyone, welcome to Overland Journals. My name is Duncan. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. My channel is all about sharing my experiences in overlanding with the wider community and also learning from everybody else. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it to everyone. Um, today is the second part of a series in safety that I started. Um, the first part, if you missed it, please go check it out. The link above and in the description below. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a tire pressure monitoring system I just bought myself literally one hour ago. Welcome back. So as part of safety, it is, you know, I'm stating the obvious here, having the right tire pressures, whether you have, you're on the blacktop or you're on you know, off-road on corrugated roads or any other form of rough terrain, still, you need to have the right tire pressures. One, it's all part of safety. Secondly, it's also a way of looking after your tires without you know, dropping the pressures too low or too high or whatever. Um, now, during a recent trip, uh, we, I did not even realize my tire, one of my tire pressures were dropping. We were on a corrugated road. Thankfully, we stopped to take a break and my wife noticed that one of the wheel, one of the tires pressure seemed quite low. When I checked it, it was really low. Now I had already dropped my tire pressures because of the corrugations, but this had gone down further. And I think what happened was when I was dropping the tire pressures, some dust must have got into and the valve got stuck. So it was leaking right through. So by you know, noticing it beforehand and you know, fixing it, I was able to avoid a possible accident or at least you know, destroying that tire, which is a quite a bit of money and you have to replace a, a tire and my tires are relatively brand new. So since then, I wanted to get myself a tire pressure monitoring system. I know in some countries, I believe in the US, tire pressure monitoring systems are mandatory. So when you buy a four by four, particularly you get it along you know, as part of the kit that comes along from the manufacturer. Well, here in Australia, it's not mandatory, so we have to, you know, do it ourselves. So the thing was, a few years ago, I think about three, three years ago, I did buy myself a tire monitoring system, which I didn't like. It didn't work, it wasn't efficient, and so I just gave up. And now after this recent incident, and I said to myself, I better get one. So I did a whole heap of um, research and reading online and also watching other YouTubers and at least here in our market, Tire Dog is said to be the most reliable and everybody seems to be talking about it. So I went and literally an hour ago, I drove across to uh, Opposite Lock, the people I buy a lot of my stuff from, I'm not sponsored by them, and I bought this. So I'm about to unbox it and then have it installed in my 4x4. So let's take a look and see what's inside. In the Tire Dog, you get a number of different models that you can pick from. And I'll leave a link to their website below so you can go and check it out if you're interested. Now, the model that I've got, it's got four sensors, so it'll give me readouts. Basically, it'll give me tire pressure readouts and temperature readouts for four, wheel, four wheels or four tires. And the moment it goes below or one goes out compared to the other three, it'll give you a warning. So that's where the, the, the beauty comes in. That's where the importance is. Now, the, there's a couple of, there's a model above, just above this one where you can get five sensors. So basically give you a readout for five wheels. Uh, that's basically if you want to have an idea of what the pressure is in your spare wheel. I don't see the need for it, so I didn't bother to pay for that. Then you get a, a, another one above that, another model where you can get, I think up to six or eight sensors. That's, you know, it'd be great if you're pulling a trailer uh, and you know you want to get a readout of what the tire pressures in your trailer is perfect so do your research if you're going for a tire dog so this one comes in a pretty tough case in my care in, in in my situation I'm, I'm just going to install them and I'm going to leave them in the 4x4 but there'll be those who might want to just install them only when they're going on an overlanding trip the rest of the time they don't want to keep it there 
installed. So in that case, it's a really good tough case to keep it stored in. So inside this case, once you open it, you get your instruction manual, which I usually read at the very end when things are not working out. So this time I'll make sure I read it before. Then you get the, um, the monitor itself. Um, now this monitor, you can power it up either using a 12 volt, so it all comes in here, so you can power it up using your 12 volt supply, or you can have two AAA batteries in there and that'll give you the, the give it the power it needs. Now in my case, I don't particularly like having too many cables running all over the dash, so I'll probably keep the cable supply as a spare somewhere in the 4B, but I'll use the battery. It's much neater, it's much easier. Also comes along is the um, suction cup for mounting the, the receiver onto the windscreen. And then you get the actual sensors. So the, here are the, well, four sensors in this case. So, and they're each numbered. So you get, this one is numbered one, two to four, obviously. So number one is, it's very important to make sure that you install them properly. Otherwise you get completely wrong, messed up readouts. So one would be your front left side to front right and so on. So it's very important to get it right. Now along into each one of these sensors goes a battery, which is supplied uh, along with the unit. So they all come with the unit. So insert the battery and then just install it onto each wheel as described. And that's it, easy as. It's also got these safeties that you can lock each sensor onto the wheel that's i from what i understand that's mainly to you know prevent theft this whole unit cost me 290 aussie dollars it could vary from you know place to place so do do some research on the pricing you might get some specials online so if that's what you want yeah so let's get out there and try and install it onto my 4b Okay, so it's a very easy fit. So all you get, you do is get the sensor and put it into the appropriate wheel as it's marked. So you always be very careful, look for the number and then just basically screw it onto the valve. It's easy as that. And then once you've done that, it's a very simple system. The receiver picks it up. So there's no complicated settings that you'll go through. Now, one thing they do is they do provide one of these um, for each sensor they provide a, um, a safety or, or a security lock now i'm i'm not going to bother with it as i said earlier because the problem i have with that is because what you do is you put that in first and then thereafter you screw in the um, sensor once you've done that you've got to get this allen key and lock it into place now the problem i've got there is every time i need to increase or de decrease tire pressures for whether i'm on the blacktop or on an off-road um, it's a mission because I've got to keep looking for that Allen key, take this out before I can take this out. So it, it is one of those options. And in fact, even the, in the instructions manual, it says it's optional. So I'm, I'm not opting for it. It's up to you as an individual if you're going for one of these. Uh, it's, so if you're going to spend a lot of time where the vehicle is going to be parked in areas you feel in, insecure, then I think it's a good idea. So when you're heading off off-road, then of course you can take it out. In my case, this sits mostly parked indoors uh, except when it's about to go on a trip so I'm just gonna put the sensor on just like that and that's it it's it's very very simple and um, there you go easy as that okay so now that I've got my four sensors installed it's just a matter of switching this unit on and within a matter of seconds it picks up the readings from all the sensors so here we go There you go. So, yeah, as you can see, my front two wheels are 36.5 PSI and the rear two are 37 PSI. Ideally, I try to run 38 all around. So that tells me that I've got to pump it up a little bit. So, yeah, pretty happy, pretty user friendly. I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out how the settings work. And the, the, owner man, uh, the user manual was pretty cool. I mean, it's just really, really easy. So I'm pretty happy with this at, up to this point. I can now go in and set in a higher limit and a lower limit. So the moment the pressures and the temperatures go beyond those limits, it'll give me a warning. So I'll know well in advance if one of my tires is having a problem. So pretty happy with it, as I said, pretty stoked. But obviously now time will tell how 
well this works. So I'll have to put in some miles and then down the track I'll do a long term review. But for the moment I'm pretty happy with it. Now also just while we're on it, um, you will notice that each one gets a reading and there's a backlight as well. So I can get a backlight going if I needed to at some time perhaps in the evening. And um, I, am, I am running it on the batteries that's supplied with this unit. I'm not going to bother with this. That's just me. I don't like cables all over the place. So yeah, pretty happy with it. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. My channel is all about sharing my experiences with the rest of the community. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. And by the way, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.